Hey there. In Metabase version 46, we've continued our focus on improving the day-to-day -day experience of using Metabase. To start, we've added actions to let you write back to your database. With actions, you can add buttons on your dashboards that run parameterized SQL queries that change the data. There's lots you can do with this, like logging a new request, editing a customer profile, and so much more. You can even make an action public and share it with a form to collect information straight into your database. To enable actions, you can go to your database settings. In Metabase 46, you can also define custom filter dropdowns. You just need to pick a saved question with the values that you want to display in your dashboard or SQL filter. Along with the multi or single select option, this gives you fine control over what's displayed and presents unnecessary queries to the database when people use your filters. If we head over to models, you can now get all their details in one place, like where they're being used and what actions are associated with them. This is a great way to guide people in your company to use your models and help them help themselves. Visualizations also got even better. Trying out different charts is now easier with a redesigned picker and smoother flow. Tooltips are more useful in multi-series charts with totals and percentages, time series with days of the week, and more. You can now download visualizations as PNGs, so you don't have to resort to screenshots anymore. Pivot tables became snappier too, and now allow you to export pivoted data. You can also resize your columns and turn row and column totals on and off. There's also a new detail visualization type, which is nice for displaying individual records. It's even nicer when paired with action buttons, so you can act on the record you're looking at. And while it's not quite a visualization, we've added link cards to dashboards, which let you guide viewers to other items in Metabase or to any URL you want. And that's not all. If you're interested to learn more about the updated MongoDB driver, reduced load on your database, new drivers, new supported languages, and other improvements that made it into Metabase 46, be sure to check out our blog. We're excited to hear what you think. And as always, thanks for using Metabase.